Hey guys, Marley here and welcome back to another video. Today we are doing a snowy escape series. Yeah, mini series and not a let's play because as you guys know, I have never once successfully finished let's play because I'm bad at commitment. Um, but what I do think I can do is commit to a three to five part mini series. We're gonna tell a story with a clear beginning, middle and end. Um, and not worry about making it a, a long let's play. Also at the end of this video will be um, two giveaways, so stick around till the very end. One of the only ways to be entered is one, if you did all of the steps over on Twitter, but two is to be here watching live with me. So if you're looking forward to that, stick around to the very end, drop me a message right now saying you're here. Uh, if you're watching this later on, welcome to my series, welcome to my channel. Follow me on Twitter if you wanna be a part of the next one. And with that being said, let's get into our Snowy Escape mini-series. Okay guys, so we are in game and we are noticeably not in Mount Komorebi. We are in San Maishuno, but this is on purpose um, because our story begins here. Our story begins here with one young Yui Henley who will be our main sim for this Let's Play now. Yui is the pretty affluent daughter of Emma Kishimoto, her mom, and Charles Henley, her father. Obviously, her mother did not take her father's last name. Um, and both of them are pretty successful careersmen. Her mom is a pretty famous critic. Her dad works in the salary person. They both make very good money and are just all around pretty successful. And see, the problem here arises that our girl Yui has um, no interest in going to college or really getting a, a degree at this point or even really joining a career. Um, Yui does not know who she is in life. Yui is um, a very, very social sim, although you may not see it from her relationships. That's a Sims 4 problem. Um, she's a very, very social sim who wants to be a friend of the world. Um, her traits are adventurous, outgoing, and dancing machine. And she has a couple skills, obviously, and she really loves to dance and go to parties and make friends and just be like the social butterfly of the room. I mean, why don't you come take a piece of the, the fruitcake? You're pretty uh, adventurous, so I think that you'd be willing to try it. This is just a pre-made house that comes with city living, but I kind of like it. I've never lived here before. It's got two bedrooms up here, uh, like a really nice like master suite. This room here that is literally just to sit in and enjoy the view, which I really appreciate, like that's fun. Why is Charles wearing graduation cap? Oh, they're all getting phone calls about Life Decider. Thank you, thank you. Uh, and obviously these two are pretty social as well. I mean, the neighbors came over and they were like, come on in. I think that they also like to host quite a bit. So it isn't just Yui. She doesn't get this from nowhere. Um, I think at least her dad is pretty outgoing. Yeah, her dad's pretty outgoing and her mom is self-assured. So they both get along with people very well. And obviously Yui gets these traits from her parents, like the outgoing trait. But... Just because like they also enjoy hosting and enjoy partying doesn't mean that they think that that's how you can just live your life. And again, Yui doesn't even know what she wants to do. So it's kind of hard to make any um, decisions when you don't know who you are or what you like, but she can introduce herself to the neighbors, who she does already know technically. But yeah, just go say hi. Obviously from her father, she gets that proper introduction, which I love. And she has kind of been entrenched really in the American and the Japanese culture. Um, obviously her mom's a first generation immigrant, but, and her mom almost turned away from that culture a little bit, you know, focusing on her career and her marriage, but they still do follow it in the house. Um, speaking of, what we should do is just make sure that people are taking their shoes off at the door, which is a new lot trait with Snowy Escape. Here we go, where is it? Yui Okamoto has a nice ring to it. What do you think? Would you like to see how things go? Sorry, no. You were like our dad's age. No, thank you. Um, but Yui, you're going to go have a nice night out tonight. So why don't you come up here and go ahead and take a bubble bath. Um, your parents are obviously both working. What do you guys have to do for your careers? Change into your party wear. Yeah, it is straight um, machino stuff. 
She is rocking the rich life and we're gonna go ahead and travel. We're gonna go on a little trip with Uni to just like have a really big night out. Okay, so it is 7 p.m. We have Yui out at the Stargazer Lounge. I'm gonna go ahead and get her to order her favorite drink, um, and we're gonna get to chatting and dancing and meeting people, all of those things. It was nice seeing you, call me later, road to fame, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I wanna see what her favorite drink is. I'm curious. Obviously, Yui is just like such a beautiful, cute sim, um, especially like her hair and like her face is so beautiful. She just is very charismatic without trying and that's something i really love about her Agonal? joffrey land grab is here hello joffrey um and kile hopali lots of people out tonight hopefully we can get some music going because it's a bit quiet which is weird oh did we get our drink we did what's your favorite drink drinking a no what is it though I want to know what the drink is. A juice on the rocks. Sounds about right. And why don't we see if we cannot chat someone up? Um, how about Mr. Victor Feng? He is kind of a cutie. He is married, but that's never stopped her before. So why don't you go give him a, a little get to know. So why don't Victor and I come and sit and chat here? Tell an engaging story, share photos. Obviously they are both drinking through all of this. So keep that in mind. She has a little, a little movelet here from Smooth Sippin. And there we go. There we have it. A little flirt between the two. She's asking him a risque question, um, confessing her action. She is very um, smitten tonight with Victor Fang. Can we compliment his appearance? Also, just discuss interest. We gotta keep it cash a little bit. But yeah, she's very um, interested tonight in Victor. So, it is a little bit later in the night and these two are sharing their first kiss at the bar. Um, and I think that Yui is gonna ask Mr. Victor here if he would like to try something a little bit risky tonight. And by risky, I mean if he would like to go home with the young adult and sneak into her parents' house with her. Um, and we will see what Mr. Victor says about that, but I have a feeling he will be in for it. He is. So, let the adventures for our misadventurous Yui begin. So Yui has come up to check and it seems like both of her parents are in bed and you know what that means. So she's gonna call down to Victor and let him know that it is safe to come up. He is waiting downstairs um, and she's gonna go get him and let him know that it is safe to come up and that all is well here. She had him wait down in the pool room where she knew neither of her parents would be at this time of night and she's gonna go tell him that it's safe to go up and that they can go ahead. So they are going to go upstairs now. Um, also, I don't know if you guys noticed up top, but there is a new like relationship panel thing that's happening, um, which is super cool, new stuff. But yes, so she is going to invite Victor into her room for a little woohoo. But unfortunately, um, they make a little bit too much noise because mom does wake up and she is going to walk in to see why Yui is coming in so late. Maybe ask her how the party was. She suspects nothing until, oh no. I think walking in on her daughter, she's super embarrassed even though she doesn't look it. And obviously when they come out from under the covers, um, she notices that the person here is none other than her married neighbor. So obviously she is not going to be very happy about this. She is very angry. First thing she's gonna do is tell Victor that he needs to leave immediately and that she will be contacting his wife. Okay, so 
Her mother has given, they've walked Victor out and her mother has given her a strong talking to, letting her know that she is in big trouble and that they will handle this in the morning. So that means that I will see you guys in the morning. So it is the next day and her parents have woken up, um, you know, not surprisingly angry. They've asked Yui before not to bring men into the house. Um, and this is kind of their last straw with her sneaking men in, a married neighbor, no less, from two pretty traditional parents. You can see he's feeling pretty angry. Um, from pre two pretty traditional parents is just not the best move that she should have taken. And her parents are understandably angry at her, so they have woken up before her and they are going to go in here and cook breakfast and kind of chat about what comes next for Yui. Um, her dad is going to rant and rave and talk to his wife and they are going to try to come up with something they can do to Yui, some way they can punish her that will really stick. Um, he's giving her a bow in the morning, very cute. Yeah, and he's telling her like, I don't understand this child you know, sharing a secret. And the secret that he is sharing is that um, he actually heard that Emma's mother was going to need to either move in with them soon. But she really didn't want to do that. She was really not happy about that. And um, obviously she would rather stay in her home, but she's getting old and they come up with a plan for Yui's punishment. So Yui is gonna smell the bacon cooking and come downstairs, hope that her parents have forgiven her like always and that she'll come downstairs and be really sweet and like give them a kiss and a compliment and that they will get over it. Um, why don't you just go ahead and just, just, just go to your mom and ask about her day, hug her lovingly. That is a good thing to do. Go hug your mom lovingly um, while she's finishing cooking breakfast here. All right, come on, finish the brekkie. So Yui has come down to hug her mom and talk to her, try to flatter her a little bit, also get a dance in, I guess, um, brighten her day. And her mom is going to say, basically, um, you're not getting out of this one. In fact, you're gonna need to start packing your stuff because your punishment is going to be that if you can't behave here when you have everything, then you're gonna have to learn what it's like to live with less. And you are going to have to go um, live with your grandmother in Mount Kimurabi as she needs someone to take care of her and cook her meals and keep the house clean. And you can learn what it's like to live with nothing, none of these things that you've had. And Yui is obviously very shocked about this. She's just completely angry, but her parents have made up their mind and this is what's going to happen. So she's going to pack her bags because at 3 p.m. she has a flight to Mount Kemurabi. All right guys, so we can't actually fly in this game, um, but we will transfer our girl Yui in with her grandmother, uh, who will not have that much money. Her grandmother will, will not. Yui will not have money to spend, although her parents won't send her with nothing. She's not getting all of that. Um, and now Yui is officially going to start her life in Mount Komarebi. Okay, so Yui has reached her grandmother's house, and her grandmother is going to come out to meet him. Obviously, um, her grandmother knows the situation and knows what has happened but you know she's got that grandmotherly love she doesn't really care if yui wants to like you know have a job or a career or do any of those things she sees yui as still being her little grandbaby who she loves so much and so she is 100 percent supportive you know yui is going to her help her out by being here but also, like, she's just happy that she gets to spend this time with her granddaughter, no matter what the reason is. So she is going to come over here. Yeah, we already know our neighbors. She's going to come over here and give her a hug and tell her welcome. Um, she's also going to tell her that, that she needs to be um, mindful of the house rules, even though she's happy to have her here. Um, and that her room will be downstairs. It's all cleaned out and emptied for her. 
Her grandmother obviously lives upstairs um, with her own private bathroom and stuff. Um, and that, you know, Yui will be expected to follow the house rules, but she's really happy she is there. And I think that Yui, she's feeling happy right now from having a pleasant conversation with her grandmother and already feeling uncomfortable about the cold. Obviously, she's from San Shuno, and the temperature is just not as bad. Um, it looks like her mom did fly out with her to drop her off, but she won't be staying. Bye, mom. <laughs> Um, and so I think that Yui is, uh, you know, she's going to come inside, take a look around, see how she feels, look at her new bedroom, and uh, just kind of reflect on her life decisions so far. I want to be very clear with you guys that her parents didn't kick her out for, like, bringing a man into the house. Her parents sent her to her grandmother's because Yui has a long-standing record of just ignoring their wishes not really doing what they want and not being the um the ideal like child as far as things go and you know they kind of don't know what to do sometimes parents make bad decisions sometimes they punish kids unfairly and who's to say if that's one of these times but huey is here now hopefully she will be able to find herself on mount Komrebi find the things that she loves to do, find the path that she wants to take in life, and maybe make some new relationships along the way. And with that being said, that is where we are going to stop this part. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this part. Um, I'm very excited to finish this little short three to five part series. I hope you guys are. Leave me comments down below how you feel about the characters and the story so far, where you think it's gonna go, your predictions, all of that. Um, if you made it this far in the video, go ahead and tell me a comment about owls. I don't know why, just owls. Okay guys, so I am on Twitter now. I am going to go to the post on my profile and I am going um, to just retweet it and let them know that this is officially closed. Filming, filming now, part. That wasn't spelled right, but you guys will know what I mean. Um, and if we go to the reply tweets, which is what I always go on, there are a 123 replies. Thank you guys so much for showing this so much love. Just my heart, my heart cannot go on. So obviously um, the first winner will be picked. We are going to just do this the old fashioned way. We're gonna put in um, between one and 123 and we are going to generate a number. Okay guys, so the first person I chose already got the pack. I'm gonna go ahead and spin again. Boop. 123 out of 123. So who was the most recent person to enter? Okay guys, and it looks like the person who is number 123 is Jessica Simmer 99, who entered on October 27th. This is 123 in my list. So Jessica, um, you are going to be the winner of the giveaway. Thank you so much, everyone who entered. You guys, there is still one more winner to be chosen, and it is from you lovely people who are here today watching this episode premiere live. So here's how we're gonna play. If you are here, I'm going to give 10 seconds into this video for you to drop your um, Twitter name and also guessing in a number between one and 500, I'm going to put my guess here now. And basically, you guys are going to, I'm going to say, don't do it yet, not yet. But when I say go, I'm going to give you 10 seconds for everyone here to drop their Twitter name and a number guess between 1 and 500. Whoever gets closest to my number wins, and I will send them a message on Twitter. So your 10 seconds start now. Okay, stop. Your time's up, um, and anyone who messaged after that, I'm sorry, your numbers are not gonna be counted. After I said stop, it was done. Um, and the number that I wrote down is 273. So I'm gonna go through the chat, find out who was closest to 273, and message them on Twitter. Um, thank you guys for coming out and supporting today. I really appreciate you all. And I hope that you guys have a lovely day, and I hope the two people who won the pack today are um, going to love it. And please tag me in your screenshots and stuff, um, and come out for the next part of this pack. Thank you so much. Uh, have a good, wonderful day. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. Mwah.